Hey everybody, welcome to this super quick tutorial about layer opacity in Photoshop CS6. My name is Buddy Blackford and let's get started by going over this. It shouldn't take too long, only a couple of minutes to teach you about the different to teach you about layer opacity. Now what I have is just one layer here and I have a text layer. You just all you need is just one layer. <clears throat> opacity is the transparency of a layer and if I click on it in the layers panel up here there uh, becomes a little slider and if you move the slider it makes your image more transparent when you go to the left or mo more opaque when you go to the right and uh, that affects how you uh, how the layer is seen now the opacity um, slider has hotkeys that you can use which is pretty cool if you press one it's going to change the opacity to 10%. So let me um, go on to the layer here and press 1 and it set the opacity to 10%. If I hit 4, it's going to change it to 40%. And it makes a noise on my computer for some reason. I don't know why. But um, those are the hotkeys if you just want to do that real quick. So you can change the opacity of any layer except for a background layer or a locked layer. However, if you want to change the opacity of the background layer, all you need to do is unlock it and then you can apply the opacity that way. So opacity affects layer styles and blending modes. Just remember that. While this uh, fill opacity here, which is uh, this, let me go back to my layer here. This opacity here, which is called fill, it affects the um, pixels that you paint on or the um, like shapes that you might draw on here using like the shape layer or anything like that. So, and it does that without affecting the opacity applied to like layer effects like um, these effects down here. Your different uh, layer effects like inner glows or color overlay or something like that it doesn't affect those. So that's it for opacity. It was really quick, really easy. And I uh, thank you for watching. Have a good one, everybody.